Hey, I'm Lisa and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you some tips on how you can create your own customized laundry room. I'm coming at you on location in a laundry room that I've created for a beautiful mama named Jen Pike. Jen Pike, if you don't know her, you need to know her because she, oh my gosh, she'll get your butt into shape, she'll get your health into shape, she'll get your hormones into shape, and you can learn all about her in the link below. Laundry rooms are a favorite space of mine to create. I just love laundry rooms. They're fun, you can be kind of more like expressive, they're, they're utilitarian, but that doesn't mean that you have to be very boring or very basic, um, because they're not exactly a space that you lounge around in. I feel like you can be bold, maybe be a little bit more daring than you typically would in maybe your living room or your bedroom. So this one is a great example of that. And what we did first was to start with color. I had professionally sprayed the cabinets this beautiful bright blue called Bermuda Blue by Benjamin Moore. It's intense, it's bold, and it's super fun against these knobs. These knobs are a bright brass finish, and I just get a combination of the patterns in the rug that I got from HomeSense, as well as some of the oranges and yellows that I've incorporated in the space, just make it really fun. And when you think about it, the laundry room also can be a space that can be kind of mundane like when you think about like folding laundry um it's a very repetitive task and can sometimes feel very boring so why not just be very like excited in the laundry room and make the space really fun and really motivating the second way i customized this laundry room was to add architectural details adding architectural details is a surefire way to make any space feel really custom even when you're on potentially a small or limited budget. So the first thing we did was to replace the door. We replaced the door that separates the laundry room from the rest of the home. And I really wanted as much natural light to fill both the house and the laundry room as possible. So we used Matri's pretty simple door with patterned millennial glass. And it's just such a pretty gorgeous touch. And again, replacing a very basic builder basic door with something like this is honestly like a surefire way to make a space feel really custom and very upscale. Then we added some tongue and groove paneling to the walls. This is a really popular look right now, painted it out white. Again, this is from Matri and it provides, architectural details in rooms provide um, a certain je ne sais quoi, a certain detail on the walls um, that again is super custom, does not necessarily have to be very expensive, but makes a massive difference in how special, how unique, um, and really how customized the space can feel. Jennifer Pike is a busy entrepreneur and mom of two kids who are very involved in sports and dance and all kinds of activities. So this room had to serve like a million purposes. There is no garage in this home. So I really wanted Jen's life to be as simple and streamlined, as efficient as possible. And so storage is the key, the key, key, key to customizing any space. So we really went nuts with storage. I used a bunch of products from Neat Freak and my favorite one is probably this laundry sorting station with a built-in ironing board on top. When space is as limited as we are in this space, we have to use every single square inch. So I designed all the cabinetry to fit around this particular unit and it just makes it super efficient for her to sort her laundry and then iron it in one space. And baskets inside of cabinets are super important. Cabinets, especially with how deep we went on these particular cabinets, because I really wanted to use every square inch possible. When a cabinet is super deep, it is super easy for things to get lost all the way in the back. When you separate a really deep cabinet with smaller baskets, that's gonna make sure that things don't fall all the way to the back. That's gonna make sure that you can really simply see things, take it out, reach what you need at the back and make sure that you know where all your stuff is. And honestly, that is like the biggest thing. Like, tell me, tell me in the comments below. I am sure I'm not the only one who gets so frustrated when you're trying to find something. Like, where's my set of white towels? Or where's the iron? Or where's, um, you know, the, the, the floor cleaner? When you cannot find stuff, it just, elevates your stress levels, elevates your anxiety. It is no fun, especially when you're a busy mom who's got kids asking for things. So to make things as efficient and streamlined as possible is so important for moms and storage is really the key to that. 
And then, of course, you can't forget about decorative storage. Decorative storage is just the thing that brings joy, at least to me. <laughs> so I use some laminate shelving from Belanger. We literally cut the same material that we used for the counter and created two floating shelves. And this is where we've displayed some really beautiful pictures, um, some plants, uh, some, again, decorative baskets. Decorative storage is really important because, again, this is what brings the pretty, this is what tells a visual story. And in a laundry room, it's important. It's not not just a utilitarian space, a laundry room can be super beautiful and really inspiring. My fourth strategy for customizing a laundry room is to add some blank. So I could use brass in basically every single space that I design. It's a very popular trend right now, but it's a popular trend because it's beautiful. Um, and one thing I'm really excited about right now is Shane Fox hardware. Shane Fox is a dear friend of mine. I know her from my days of working with the Property Brothers, and she's decided to branch out into the artisanal craft of handmade cabinet hardware. She literally makes these with her own hands, and it's incredible. The detail, the natural finish, it's um, a natural finish, which means it's gonna oxidize and it's gonna react over time to natural oils on your hands. It's going to patina and look incredible as the years go on. And I just think even on the most basic of cabinets, like you could get the most basic white cabinet and throw this cabinet hardware on there and it looks incredible, customized, and truly something special. So using a more um, artisanal or higher um, price point sometimes uh, pull is a strategy that I often use in my customized interior spaces. And of course, we brought the bling in the faucet. The faucet is the Cassidy by Delta, again in the champagne bronze. And again, it's just another very special touch to customize your laundry room. My fifth tip for customizing your laundry room is to customize your cleaning. So this is the reason why we're here in the laundry room is to clean our clothes. So in this case for Jen Pike, who lives again a very busy, very entrepreneurial, very juggling many different balls in the air kind of life, I wanted her washer and dryer to be particularly efficient. So I used a stackable washer and dryer by Whirlpool. First of all, it works really well because of the space limitations that we have here. And second of all, all kinds of settings that she can clean her towels with, her daughter's dance stuff with, her son's hockey stuff with, with all kinds of customizable settings so that she can provide the care that her family family needs. If you like this video, I would love for you to give it a big thumbs up. I've got lots of these kinds of interior design um, home tour um, videos that I've done for lots of busy moms. So I invite you to take a look in the cards if you're looking for some inspiration for your home on how to live a more beautiful, efficient, intentional life. And let me know in the comments below what other kinds of spaces would you love to see? Laundry rooms, craft rooms, playrooms. Let me know and I'll be sure to respond and tell you when I've got something coming up. Thanks so, so much for watching and cheers to designing your beautiful life.